Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this red lip and how to apply lipstick. Very simple, very easy. Liquid lipstick specifically because I think that may be a little bit harder than lipstick to me. And I've gotten a few questions, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I feel so awkward all the way up front. You can see my mustache. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my lip and I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's Uncensored. So hey y'all. I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Uncensored along with ColourPop Ultra Matte in the Color Lux. And I'm gonna start with this first. It's a little bit dark and I'm gonna use this in my corners first, okay? So starting off with my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick Matte in the color Lux. I'm putting this in my corners, top and bottom for a slight ombre effect. This Fenty Beauty Uncensored Red to me is a bit too too bright and it makes my lips look too too plump. So I prefer to put a darker color in my corners, not all the way around so that it'll look like it's just uncensored, uncensored but also a little ombre effect that brings my lip in a bit in the corners this is my trick okay then before that quickly dries I go in with Fenty Beauty then I do this little X trick to the tip of my lip to the top and this helps to give you that Rihanna peak I take it up a little bit not over my lip I don't overdraw I just define I do not also um, put the wand back in the bottle. There's enough product to go one stroke with this Fenty Beauty lipstick. So you just work with what is on the wand. I do this first before I finish any other part of my lip. And then you can finish your lip. So with filling in my lips, I take the liquid lipstick over top, the dark one that I put on at first, and it gives a little, not ombre effect, but it brings in the corners of the lip a bit because it doesn't look like just a flat red all over. I prefer it to look a little bit darker in the inner corners and it gives that good look and that good lip color red for especially dark skin. And I love the way this comes out. It's beautiful. Now with liquid lipstick, I said before, you don't rub your lips together. You use your brush to fill in any sparse areas or anything like that. And definitely you can clean it up with a concealer, which I'm going to show you next. Also, in some cases, there may be too much product on the um, wand, so you want to be careful of that. I try not to put too much because my lips are not that big and not too small. Okay, the trick with liquid lipsticks is you are not supposed to pierce your lips or rub them together in any type of way. This is the way that I usually do my lip and leave it. You don't go in doing anything. I don't go in doing anything. I just stay. I just be really, really, really careful with my application. If you do make a mistake, then you can take your concealer brush and usually concealer after you've done your makeup is still on it. I don't like to um, go in with more concealer because sometimes it can overdraw and you can tell, but if you have to, it's gonna be the littlest bit and then you're gonna go in And clean it up but that's about it but thank you guys for watching this video if you love this video and how this lipstick is applied don't forget to leave a comment down below like share and subscribe thank you guys for coming back to my channel for all those oldies but goodies and to the newbies thanks for watching bye